Hey, Lauren, the main question we had tonight is how to stop these daily incidents from happening because we know this isn't something that's uh, unique to Central Carolina. It is a nationwide issue that's only getting worse in the day and age of social media. Even when they call code red, like there's an intruder in the school, they might not have a gun, but I still get terrified at what could happen. You heard it from these parents the other night outside Heritage High School in Wake Forest. Thinking it's a normal day and then you get a call that school's on lockdown. That's it's terrifying. Students being put on constant lockdowns, law enforcement showing up, then parents left scrambling. The threats top of mind for Wake County schools. Every time we get one, we have to investigate it as if it's the real thing because you, you never know. School safety is Kendrick Scott's job. He's the senior director of security for Wake County Schools. So we do it this much more than I would want to be dealing with it. We stood with him just hours after he presented in front of the Wake County School Board. They're trying to figure out what can be done. Weeks after a bomb threat at Heritage High School on the first week of school, that threat led to students getting overheated on the football field. It's happening across the country. It's not just unique to Wake County Schools. It's everywhere. And a lot of people are grappling with how are we going to get around this and how are we going to get our, our our minds around to stop this from happening. One way parents can help is to stop spreading the threat on social media. Their parent, they can contact us 24 hours a day, seven days a week by calling our tip line at 919-856-1911. They also say students can do their part. If they're a student and they're in the building, the number one thing they can do is let an adult know, let a teacher know, let an administrator know, let their SRO know. Scott said he also understands why parents want to come to the school to get their children immediately after a threat, but oftentimes that is more dangerous for first responders. Those types of things cause us more distress than letting us deal with what we have in front of us. Having emergency response plans for um, any type of incident. The command center for all of these incidents start in Mr. Scott's office right here, and then they grow, Lauren and Steve, based on a response needed if one is needed from law enforcement. As for that incident at Heritage High School that was being talked about here uh, at the school board today, a full after action report is going on to figure out what went right and what could be improved. Back to you.